Hello, I'm Donna Granada, and welcome to Studio A at USC Annenberg. My guest today is very special. It is Sasha Onawalt, who is the director of the journalism program, uh, arts journalism program here at USC, and we're at the beautiful Wallace Annenberg Hall. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about the program. It's an arts journalism program that's in its eighth year. We're at at, based in Los Angeles, the center of what we do, there are 11 students on average. It's a very intimate one-on-one -on -one experience and uh, profoundly believes in putting artists at the center of all of our work. And the kind of journalism we do, we make journalism. We put it out on Ampersand, which is a long-form online magazine. And really the charge to everybody who is part of Ampersand and is part of this program is to make arts journalism that you yourself would want to read or watch or hear. Something that really moves you, that excites you. If it, if it does that to you, it will do it to other people. And actually a lot of the uh, participating journalists are working artists in their own right and very well respected in their own fields of expertise. And I think that's one of the unique aspects mm -hmm. of this program. So. Talk a little bit about that and, and how you recruit these people. From the very, very beginning, we wanted to have a combination of people who were mid-career arts journalists or journalists who wanted to tra transfer into the arts and into culture. And, and also, we wanted to have artists. We wanted to have people who had been dancing, who had been singing, who had been playing the violin, who had been creating visual work, ceramics, painting, um, from you know, seven years old, sometimes even earlier than that, so that they're so schooled mm -hmm. in that form, they know the history of that form. They, they also take criticism incredibly well. Ah, well, <laughs> and you know, being part of the program and seeing all these amazing people and learning from each other, it, it really is an extraordinary experience. So let's take a look at Ampersand, which is the online magazine that we collectively, our cohort, produces. And it is, you know, ha it covers all of the different media, spoken word, music, dance, mm -hmm. photography, um, critical review, exhibition reviews. Mm -hmm. So we'll share a little, little bit of Ampersand. So let's go to the website and share that with mm -hmm. everyone. AmpersandLA.com is the address. So talk a little bit about the website and um, what, what exactly we're seeing here. Mm -hmm. I wanted the students to be able, as I said, to make journalism new. Well, here we are in this new building with all of this technology and equipment. And uh, my, my feeling was that I wanted them to be as creative as the work they're covering. So what does that mean? And how do you actually experiment and do things? So this last image you just showed of the dancer, uh, the drawing of the dancer uh, for Rebecca Bruno. Two of the students went out, they went to a dance concert. That particular dance concert was of two women uh, walking on the beach and doing a site-specific work uh, in Santa Monica. Oh, wow. The two students responded to the work by taking photographs of the dancers. And then they came back to our studio at the Media Center in Wallace Annenberg Hall. And they, one of them, Jonathan Shiflett, drew transform these photos into archaeological tiles. Uh, they felt very much that this choreographer was doing something that was archaeological. Then if you click, they made it an interactive piece so that if you click on each one of the tiles, you'll get a, a, a brief bit of audio. If you click on the audio, you'll hear the choreographer talking about that particular work. Shoreline. We call it shoreline, but it's a series of gestures that Samantha and I do mirroring each other that presents, again, this same idea of flowing out and flowing in. So, you know, you see, you, she, uh, Laura Altunian caught her saying, mirroring each other. They put the photo and there are two dancers who are mirroring each other. And my feeling was, I now know what that dance looked like and felt like. It's a record of that dance. In many ways, it is a form of dance criticism in the sense that they never would have made that piece if they didn't have love the work they saw Absolutely. and want to reflect it. 
Absolutely. And, you know, this is just one small sample. Yeah. They, they can be very complex. Um, we'll share one more. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we'll take a look at uh, hopscotch, which is quite a cultural phenomenon here in Los Angeles. So if you click here. So this was very exciting because uh, one of the students decided that she wanted to cover how an, this opera is made. And this opera takes place over six weeks. It covers three different routes in Los Angeles. And each route, there are 24, um, well, there are eight limousines per route and eight different stops on each route. So there are 24 different stops. She went to all of the 24 stops. She took photographs of them. She recorded sound. She did vid video. And she created this. She had never had to any kind of coding before. So, so Let's beautiful. Take a listen, yeah. yeah. Traveling with these uh, musicians in these vehicles and then stopping in different places in Los Angeles and uh, singers coming out from the community and engaging, uh, it, it really has been a cultural phenomenon. And as a student, watching all of this and, and watching our fellow students covering it and getting the exposure that they had, it really was a great example of how extraordinary this program is. And it's, it's really a credit to you. Oh, thank you. Well, I want to thank you for being our guest and sharing a little insight. So how, how can people um, become part of this program? They can become part of the program by going to our website. If you search, search for Arts Journalism Master's Program at USC Annenberg, Arts Journalism Master's Program, and then you'll get to be able to do this. None of the students whose work you just saw, none of them had ever done any video, any audio, any coding, any uh, photography. They hadn't reviewed anything. Amazing. So it's, uh, it's so, so exciting to be able to be part of reimagining and, and creating this next generation of arts journalism. Wow, I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank mm. you, Sasha. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. That's all we have time for. And uh, coming from Studio A, I'm Donna Granada. Thanks for watching.